There is a very important walk happening Saturday at the Southfield Civic Center to support people coping with Crohn's disease and colitis. And the event is called Take Steps. And this is really an effort by the Crohn's and Colitis Foundation to raise awareness, but also raise money to fight this issue that affects so many people. And joining me now to share more about this walk is Shannon Card. She and her son will be taking part as honored heroes. And also Sarah Arminiak, the manager of the Take Steps program. Thank you both for being with us today. We really appreciate it. Thank you for um, having us. I just want to start with you, uh, Sarah, just to kind of give us the, the brief overview of what is the difference between uh, Crohn's disease and colitis. Sure, so Crohn's disease um, can affect anywhere from your mouth to your bottom, where ulcerative colitis is contained to your colon. So it is inflammation, it is ulcers, um, and it can cause um, swelling in the intestines where people aren't getting the nutrients they need from their food. Um, it can cause frequent bathroom issues, but it can also cause, um, it's an autoimmune disorder, so it can also cause joint issues, vision issues, skin issues. So it is much more than just a bathroom issue. That, that makes sense. And, and it is, it affects so many people. And you've had firsthand experience, both you and your son, is that right? Yes, I have had ulcerative colitis for about 22 years now. And my son um, was diagnosed with Crohn's disease when he was six. So for about eight years now, he's 14. So he's really had a lot of ups and downs with the disease. And what were the first symptoms? Oh, wow. Um, he was vomiting daily, um, stomach pain, exhaustion, diarrhea. That's heartbreaking. It really is to watch your child go through that. Now the two of you are taking part and you're being called Honored Heroes. Explain yes, that. We are so excited. We were nominated as this year's Honored Heroes. So I'm the adult Honored Hero. My son Ian is the pediatric Honored Hero. And basically we're just excited to bring awareness to these diseases. There's still a lot of people that don't know what Crohn's and colitis are. So it helps to spread the awareness. And then not only that, just the funds that are raised through this will go on to help create more treatments. When my son was first diagnosed, there were only two um, biologics, and now there's up to 10. So, I mean, there's just been such a tremendous, um, you know, they've come so far with the research in the last eight years, so I'm really hopeful that one day we can have a cure. Absolutely, I mean, we're all hoping that for that as well. How did you get involved? So actually I work with the foundation and I and when I started I didn't have a personal connection but after starting I realized both of my aunts had it oh, wow. and they hid it because they were embarrassed by it. So part of our issue with the foundation is spreading awareness so that it's a common conversation. No, and it's so important to raise awareness and to to squelch the stigma that yes. may or may not be uh, associated. So I know you're trying to get fo folks involved. What should they know about the walk? So it's this it's coming this Saturday at 10 a.m. at Southfield Civic Center. We're we're expecting five to 700 people to be there. Um, you can still join. Um, you can still come out that day. Um, you can go to Crohn'sColitisFoundation.org and get all the details. But it is really a family fun day. So everything starts at 10. We start, our walk is at 11.30 and we wrap up by 12.30. So it's a quick morning if you have to get back to graduations, parties, whatever you have going on. Excellent. So if somebody is showing any of the symptoms that both of you have mentioned just now, What's the next step? Where should they go? What should they do? They need to talk to their doctor right away and they really need to get a gastroenterologist um, immediately. That's and really the step. Are there tests that can be done? Absolutely. There are blood work that can be done. There are um, tests that can be done on stool to tell you at what stage you're at. So there's lots of different tests that can be done. What's the main message you want people to take away? Um, come out, it's a great community event. Support everybody with Crohn's and colitis. Um, help us raise funds and one day we will get a cure. One day we will. Yes. Amen to that. Uh, Shannon, Sarah, thank you both so very much for joining us here at noon. Again, the Crohn's and Colitis Foundation's walk to raise awareness and raise funds is this Saturday, June the 10th from 10 a.m. to 1245, right, actually right around the street from us here at the station at the Southfield Civic Center Complex, again at 26,000 Evergreen in Southfield. Go to cctakesteps.org. For more information, Crohn's and Colitis Foundation.org. Thank you very yes. much. We appreciate that. The big